let, let's go to when you were 14 for a second. Because <laughs> I, I guess. Okay, no problem. I, I'm just going mean, to turn I, into my fortune stuff. All the wrinkles are going to go away. I, yeah. I mean, it is a traditional time in, in a young person's life. Um, and so you found yourself in New York City with just your dad. It was just you and your dad yeah. in, in Lower East End. By the way, are you close to Essebagel? Were you by there? Is that I, what, I was. We were, we were actually on Twenty First and Second Avenue. Twenty so, yeah, like yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Third Avenue. Yes. I think one of my favorite bagel places. Okay. Place, yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, I mean, what as a fourteen-year-old and as a, I don't know. I have a lot of questions. But what? What? <laughs> how do you think that shaped your life? I guess is the basic question. You know, living with your dad and, and just you and your dad in New York City in the in was it the the early 90s or early 90s well yeah. i think that you know in the book i i i i think there's kind of a whole chapter dedicated to this time i mean i yeah. for me it was a great time you know even though turning 14 was hard and and being rejected by by guys was hard or whatever but i really changed i my eyes were opened up to new york city i'd grown up in montreal i'd gone to new york on the, uh, you know for long weekends and in the summertime and at christmas but really i i it was still really a big deal to move to New York City and and to have that incredible experience. And this, I went to Friends Seminary, which is like was a pretty fancy school with all these kind of famous kids. And the kids were a lot more mature than I was. You know, they were kind of advanced. So I was just like overwhelmed with that and dealing with all of that stuff. And um, um, you know, I think for my dad, in contrast. Um, it was a lot harder for him. I, I didn't. I didn't know what the big problem was. I was just being. I was just acting out as a teenager. But by the end of the by the end of the year, he kicked me out, and I didn't. I, I that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. I mean, he kicked me out. He just sent me home. He's like, okay, I'm done. But I think he had never brought up any of his children really, and so I think for him it was a big shocker, you know. But um, I uh, I got. So I got so close to him, I, I think, in a way, you know, and maybe a little bit under his skin. Um, so I wouldn't have changed it. Uh, but but I don't uh, I don't know if it was as easy for him. Yeah. And it definitely changed my personality. I mean, I left Montreal kind of um, a nervous, weird uh, 13 year old. And I came back kind of much more savvy and uh, smoking and drinking and being attitudinal and and terrible <laughs> <laughs> as 15 year olds are in that then. yeah i mean i you know it seemed perfectly normal to me hey rags uh and then discovering his songs that were about you during that time and what what is that like when i, I mean you you mentioned in the book that you you kind of listen to his music on on, on your own just to kind of discover yeah. to learn about his life um, and yeah. then all of a sudden, you're a character in his in his uh, songbook. What? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the you know that 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 was gonna if, if by get by getting close to to the songwriter like a writer, if this happens, you know, that you end up in their book or you end up in their song, and that doesn't always sit sit pretty with everybody. You know, I I always appreciated, especially as a as a as a kid, you know, hearing my name in songs like um, Happy Birthday Martha, which is you know, about um, him not being at my fifth birthday, you know, and, and, and when I listen to it now, it's terribly sad and depressing and horrible in a way. But when you're when you're young, just hearing your dad say, you know, I love you, I can't be there for your birthday and saying your name over and over, it felt good, you know, so I didn't understand the whole hmm. concept of the song, but nor, nor did I want to, or should I, you know, it's not really my, you know, I, I didn't want to make it a problem, you know. And then as, you know, as, as I started to um, hear more from my mother, what, what, their, what their marriage was really like or whatever, you know, then I started to sort of understand more the subtleties and, or the not so subtle subtleties in, in the songwriting. Um, and it is a way that we have, um, we, we speak to each other. It's a language. And I think the language of music is as good as any, you know. Mm um i i appreciate it and i think also for someone like loudon who's not he who 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 is not you know the most opened and free person and he's a little nervous 
that's how he has to do it, you know, and if that's how he has to do it, then my ears are open, then I will interpret that his lyrics as, as I see fit, <laughs> as I wish to, 